What's up, what's up guys? So today I'm back again with the monkey strategy, right? So today I'm just gonna show you what you do wrongly, right? What people tell you to do, but it's completely wrong, right? Then I'm going to show you exactly how you're supposed to use what the strategy, right? So if you've been following me for a while now, you know that I usually like to use the the MACD or the RSI on my what? on my indicator window, right? Why? Because they are very powerful. What? They are very powerful indicators, right? They are very they are very powerful and what? Uh, reliable what? indicators, right? For the indicator window, right? So first of all, I'm gonna show you what what other YouTubers, what other people are showing you, right? It's I don't wanna say that it's wrong, but uh, most of the time it doesn't work, right? So this is the strategy that uh, most of people are showing you on the on the MACD strategy, right? So first of all, they you are usually what? put the MACD, right? The moving average and the RSI, right? So just MACD is just the default settings, right? Twelve twenty six nine. Right, then click done. Right, then for the moving average, it's period one, shift zero method exponential of test indicator window. Then style is black, you can choose any color of your choice. Right, then click done. But take note of what of the apply to over here. Right, it's first indicator data. Right, then click done. Right, then other YouTubers, uh, other people are adding what Edward this uh, RSI. Right, at first when I was also starting what Forex. Right, yeah, this was the MACD strategy is one of the strategies that I will first. So on YouTube, right? Uh, unlike most of you, I was uh, I did all, everything on my own, right? I just learned forex on my own, right? Uh, reading some books and uh, following what these other YouTubers, right? So first of all, uh, when I was following these strategies, right, uh, I wasn't that profitable, right? Yes, you could uh, get some profits here and there, right? But I wasn't consistent with my profits. Why? Because uh, some of these strategies they do work in some certain conditions, right? But uh, they don't work, always work, right? So this is one of the strategies that I'm going to be showing you now, right? So that I'm be able to help you guys, right? So my my purpose for this uh, channel, right, is to help you uh, learn faster, right? Uh, I didn't get a mentor, right? So I do what I can to help you guys, right? Because I know the struggle, right? Uh, I wasn't when I started, I wasn't able to. I didn't have money to pay for a mentor, right? So that you can show me each and every thing, right? So you can teach me everything. So I relied on these what YouTube videos and uh, reading some books and uh, during the way on the way I found the uh, presentation and everything. So now I'm, I I don't say I'm much better than you guys, but uh, uh, we are along the same journey. So I'm going to be showing you on this channel. I'm going to keep showing you what strategies that I think that I work, that I use. Right? There are some strategies that, uh, for example, this one. Right? Uh, when I was starting, right, I just followed everything that I was shown. Right? But I didn't make profits right i wasn't consistent with my profit so i'm going to be showing you exactly what's wrong with this one strategy right so other youtubers did what this rsi right then the air levels 90 10 80 just copy them as they are right but i won't need them because i'm going to be showing you how you exactly are supposed to use this strategy without this uh rsi right so right here right so let's take for example over here right so what other people say is that uh when the MACD reaches what the level 80 to 90, right, and crosses over for what? For a sale over here, over there, right? You should end up for what? For a sale. Why? But because what? It's, it's the oversold or the what? Yeah, it's the overbought level. It's the overbought levels, right? But uh, personally, I don't use what this strategy because uh, I figured out that uh, most of the times it uh, doesn't work. Why? Because uh, the market is what? In a strong uptrend, right? As you can see from over here, right? The market is. Continuously creating what I I right. So this strategy is bound not to work. Why? It's bound not to work all the time, right? It does work. Don't get me wrong. It does work, but uh, not all the time, right? No strategy works every time, but uh, using what this strategy is not consistent every time, right? So like here, right? When the MACD reaches what the levels ten to ten twenty to ten, right? You're supposed to enter for your buy, right? So you're supposed to enter for your buy here, right? And as you can see, the market continue to go up, go down. And they were supposed to end up for a what by year, though this one worked out for a while, but it still came back what down because we are still in what in a downtrend. Why? Because we are creating what a series of what lower lows, as you can see over there, right? So, this strategy is supposed to be a reversal strategy, right? Reversal entry strategy, but most of the time it doesn't work, right? So, I'm going to be showing you how you're supposed to use the what the MACD correctly, as you can see. Uh, most of the time, I usually I usually show you the strategy, right? Even if you check the very first video that I posted on this channel, it was uh, on the MACD, right? Because it, uh, 
I saw that it doesn't work. Uh, this strategy doesn't work. Right? It does work, but uh, in some certain conditions, right? But it doesn't work all the time, right? You're supposed to enter for your buy over here. And right? as you can see, the market continued what? to go down because the, what? the downward momentum is still, what? Is still strong. So I don't recommend using what? this strategy. Right? Personally, I don't use it on my own. Right? Yeah, you're supposed to enter for a sale, although this trade eventually went down, right? Here. Here. You're supposed to enter for what? For a sale. If you have entered somewhere about here, right? And the market quickly reversed on me, right? So I personally don't want to use the MACD this way because I figured out that it doesn't, it's not consistent, right? It does work, but uh, you want to be consistent. You make profit today and lose, lose that money again tomorrow, right? Here, you're supposed to enter for what? For a sale over here. Over here. Right? And as you can see, it didn't go down, right? It just shot up, hitting on all your stop losses, right? So how do I use the... Um, MACD strategy, right? So, as you most of the time, I'm sure that you've been trading for a while, you know the, the phrase, uh, the trend is your friend. So, personally, I just like to use what the MACD in line with what with the current trend, right? So, when you're using what the MACD, you don't have to go to the highest, highest time frames, right? You just have to follow the momentum of that moment in time of that period, right? So, what are you, what I do when I'm using what the, the MACD? Let me delete this RSI, right? This level, I don't need them, right? You don't need them, just using what the pure MACD, right, on its own like that, right. So as you can see from over here, just using what, a simple market structure, right. So market structure right over here, right, we are creating what, a series of what, higher highs. So we are generally what, there's no consolidation here, break. You know what, we are in an uptrend, right. So in an uptrend, we are supposed to be looking for what, for buy setups, as you can see from over there, right. So in an uptrend like this one over here, right, as you can see, over here, right, you are in an uptrend, right? So you can use what the basic money structure that I showed you to see if the market is creating what a series of what of higher highs, right? Series of what higher highs, right? Or if you are not familiar with market structure, you can just use what the MACD on its own, right? This MACD, the MACD on its own, right? It's also a powerful strategy, it's also a powerful indicator of the, of the trend, right? So, how do you determine the trend using what the MACD, right? First of all, for if it's an uptrend, right, the small bars, this small gray bars, it should be above the level, the level zero. Let me zoom up my chart, right. So if it's an uptrend, these small bars are above the, above the level of zero, right. If it's a downtrend, let me get right here, like so. Uh, these bars are what below the, what, the level zero, right. So uptrend above the level zero, downtrend below the level, what, the level zero, right. So after noticing that, right, we zoom in our chart just once, right, or twice. Whenever you can see what the crossover, right? So what you want is uh, for the MACD to cross above the level zero if it is an uptrend. Right? So right here, that's when we enter our, our buy. Why do I use this method? Why? Because uh, I'm going in line with what with the trend. The market is still what bullish, right? You can see from uh, sorry, I deleted what I deleted the the RSI, but this most probably would be you not know, our 90 level over here, right? And if you have entered for yourself, right, you get stopped out. Why? Because the market is still in an uptrend, so you should just be looking for what for buy setups, right? Right here, and uh, for here, you enter over here, go to the up, cross over to the upside, buy, we buy, we buy. Even if you place your stop loss here, right? If you, if it consolidates or does whatever it does, right? If you are still in a strong uptrend, your stop loss won't get hit, and you continue what getting what the profit, right? So, I personally notice that uh, I'm more consistent using what this strategy rather than what and uh than that strategy of the reversal strategy right it's better to go in line with the trend why because that's where the market is what that's where the sentiment is right so you end up with a buy here you place your stop loss below this here right even if it's consolidates right it eventually went into profit right and do you know genuinely that if your stop loss gets it the market is what is uh, there's been a change in what the momentum right other than that strategy your stop loss will consistently get it because we are trying to reverse what the trend right so like trying to catch that the reversal of that of the trend, right? So, like over here, right? This uh, market is broke this low, creating a series of what lower lows, right? The market is in a downtrend, right? We are also sure that it's in a downtrend because the MACD is below the level what below the level zero, right? So, right here when the MACD crosses over here, over here, right? That's when you end up for what we we'll say. We stop. You stop this goes over here, right? Above the what uh, previous high that was formed. Right, and as you can see, went into profit, right? We didn't get what stopped out, right? So 
I don't think that I'm more consistent using what this strategy. You can, if you want to use this strategy, you can try it out on demo phase before you go out, you go live, right? And it's not like uh, those other YouTubers uh, want you to lose money or anything like that. They just saw that it's profitable, right? Some of the times, but uh, maybe they didn't go further into studying what 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 the further effects of it, the strategy are, right? But uh, though you can be consistent, especially if you practice risk management using what that strategy, right? You will be able to what, to stay consistent. But uh, I know most of you guys, you are not uh, you are not. Uh, Risk, we are, we don't apply risk management because I was also I was also just like you guys, right? So, right here, we are in your downtrend. Why? Because we are creating a series of what lower lows, right? Then uh, we are also in a downtrend because further confirmation because of the uh, MACD is below the level level zero, right? Right here, enter for your sale over here when the MACD crosses over there, right? And that should be somewhere about what here, right? You place your stop loss here above that that previous low that was formed, right? And you continue to go up, to go down right though this as you can see no strategy works all the time right here we have ended for a sale when the demand crosses over there right some should be some over there right as you can see we got stopped out right because no strategy is what well. is perfect right so you enter when the this side gets broken right so that will be over there or when the demand crosses what or up forward to go up right though you can, as you can see we eventually what Continue to go down. Why? Because we're still in a strong, what, in a strong downtrend, right? And I don't want to tell you that uh, it doesn't get stopped. That yeah, there are some losing trades, but it's you become more consistent, especially if you uh, maintain the, what the risk to what, right? Let's say you are risking uh, about three dollars on each trade, right? And you are targeting about five to five dollars, five to six dollars. One is to two risk to one, or one is to three risk to one. Though the one is to three is much better, right? Especially if you stick to one, to one. Um, to one risk to one ratio, you will be profitable most of the time. You will be consistent, right? There are some, there will be some losing trades, but you will be more consistent, right? So, right here, we in a downtrend because we are breaking what continuously breaking what this loss also has got a flag over there, right? Uh, and there is to that, that that previous support level, right? We also have a crossover to the downside over there, so you enter for a sale right here, right? And I encourage you guys to practice price again, right? If you want to be consistent in the what. In the market right so here when we have an uptrend continuously breaking up eyes we testing out that split zone over there right i've got some practice in videos on my channel you can check them out right we're continuously breaking up going up right so you just be entering over here over here and over there though you get virtually been stopped out but we've got one two one two trades that we in profit right and here if you're switching up if you're trailing your stop loss, you get you know also in profit, right? So that's all that I got for you guys. Right. So let me show you on the boom and crash. But uh, I think this video is too long right, right now. But uh, but uh, it does also work on that. On the boom and crash, you can scroll down my channel. You will see the videos that I talk about using what the strategy, right? So if you wanna stay consistent, guys, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I will keep sharing strategies with you guys right and if you've got any suggestions any errors that you spot on my on my videos that right, you can just share them so that i can correct them i don't want to uh, give you guys wrong information so like subscribe and share if you like the content thank you guys